Hello everyone, welcome back to my diecast collector channel and this is my favorite model of all time and this is Bagani Huara from the uh, LCD model now this is the model that I have been talking about and you can tell that I have chosen this car uh, car in the uh, this metallic blue now you can have a choice of three other color which is the uh, white, red and purple uh, I chose this one because of the blue, uh, this color blue is my favorite color. I only chose this color blue in the uh, my favorite models, as you can imagine. So this is Bagani Huara, and I have chosen similar color in my previous model LCD, uh, not LCD, Lexx LC500. So yeah, and uh, I'm sure you've seen this video and uh, this model review in a loads of different uh, YouTube channel around the world. Uh, I'm sure they're all saying positive uh, feedback on this car uh, as I'm about to say that as well so let's start with the uh, engine this is the amazing part of the whole model or oh, before I start with that uh, as you can see it come with a nice uh, screwdriver as well I have never seen color coded screwdriver that provided by the model but this one LCD is the only one that come with this and on top of that this top is a magnet and you can actually take it out change a different head as well they provide you with that as well which is cool so now let's get into the uh, actual model itself so if I zoom in now this is really incredible engine detail I must uh, I must say so if I open this up and you can see the inside is so much detail I have never seen that much detail in a motor car now look at the exhaust pipe in the back and you can see the rose gold with the blue color and uh, you've got two tones and a plus you've got all the steel hinges and cage for the engine and carbon fiber effects around here on the engine you got rose color on the uh, Bagani written on it I think this is the AMG uh, engine from the Mercedes uh, V12 yeah, there's a little V12 I think I can't read it out but it is V12 I think and this is really nice looking here there's AMG little logos in the corner and what I really like to show you is this uh, all the rose gold on the wheel and this is a hint for the uh, suspension now these suspensions are actually working unlike the fake one from the uh, auto art on uh, from my 177 signature series and that was really disappointing I saw the photo and I bought it straight away without even thinking twice and when I actually received it and I realized that those one are actually fake and this model is real so if I demonstrate to you uh, if I push the car down you can see that these suspensions are moving check this out guys can you believe this? I mean, this is an amazing part of engineering achievement in here for the model. So you can tell how much attention or detail they put into this model. It's incredible. And on top of that, all these uh, carbon fiber here, they are so real as well. The best carbon, carbon, uh, carbon fiber effects I have ever seen in a model car. And Nora for almost real or I don't think it can match anything like this kind of level now this is not a box by the way this is a storage compartment you can see if you open it you see the tiny little screw and hinges there it's really incredible I don't know how, how tiny they are uh, they can manage to fit it all together like this and there's luggage in there as well you got both sides oops and that's the only downside I will have to say here because this uh, massive engine cover piece is really heavy and inside that is only holding by tiny little hinges there that is the only downside so over time it's not gonna fall down by a, or by any mean it will go down a little bit like this and it stays in that position but uh, over time I'm pretty sure that the hinge will get tired it will collapse eventually so I don't want to keep it like this for a long time in, a, in my display shelf 
So I normally put it on a closed position, but if I want to open it and look check out this uh, engine detail and I must start admiring for it, then obviously I can open it up anytime. And there are little luggages in there as well. You can see I'm not gonna take it out because they kind of like difficult to take it out. Uh, I need a right tool to take it out actually, but they are individual. They are not stick together into a box there. And so there you go. So let's close the engine now. And now I'd like to show you the uh, the cabin. And you can see these are all match. Uh, they're all see-through. And at the back, which oops, sorry. At the back, you can also see the uh, all these little mesh here. They are all actually see-through. See that? It's see-through. And this one is a wind flex, which you can lift it up. And again, at the back, you can see that they are see-through. Okay, so you can see the engine from the inside, from the outside. Yeah. And also, the little windows that will show the uh, AMG engine with a rose gold on it, which is a really nice touch. And then, you can see the uh, the cabin. Now, the cabin is incredibly detailed as well. And I'm really impressed by this. And uh, when I take a picture and I show it to my colleague at work, people think that this is actually a real car. And I said, no, 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 this is an actual you know, uh, model cars that I collect. It's like, oh wow, this is incredible. I never seen such detail. So this is actually on a different level. Okay, so you can see that all the buttons in here they are really nice carbon fiber effects here, and you got the gear stick in the glossy shiny silver, and that uh, all the seat belt, um, the seat, the steering wheel with a carbon fiber handle on it the dials are very clear it's incredible and also you can see the speakers the door handle and they are very different texture you can see this is rough uh, around then you got a little smooth around surface here and then you got carbon fiber here you got so many different pieces that are connected together in this door panel and then you got chrome around for the speakers it's just incredible i have never seen that many pieces together attached in a door piece um, in the same way you got little speakers under there okay and on the other side also the same and uh, if you look in the back and you will see the speakers behind the headrest as well and there's a luggage behind the seat as well which is incredible so that's the interior and you got a center speaker in the uh, in here as well and so that's the uh, cabin so let's talk about the front part now at the front uh, you can see there is uh, some rose gold in the suspension area again and then you got little air fans here as well. You can't see much in the front actually, to be honest, but uh, it is there. So if I push it down, you can see that these are moving. So this is again, fully working suspension. So if I close this lid and these air vents can also open and you can see inside there is some kind of uh, fan to keep the aerodynamics going i suppose so yeah this is really detailed and you can see that little rubber stick here to prevent the door from uh, scratching each other so it kind of like protected area which is really nice touch so i have all this stuff close together so this is in a roaster uh, setup so you got a roof and the roof is magnet as well you just click it in it's very easy it's really really nice so now one thing i got to show you this is very interesting part actually of the car now 
you can see the wheels are very nice it's great this and color has very detailed painted in red and this is the Pirelli P0 and so it's in the back it's really nice wheel now this is very interesting part so if you turn the car to the other side this is silver on this side if I turn it to the other side you're gonna notice that the wheels are now yellow and the lines are in blue and you might say what what happened here so did they make the mistakes not really this is intentional uh, for the design purpose so that the painted calipers are now in blue not red so I think uh, but what LCD trying to do is you can put it on the shelf on one side and you can see it that way and when you get bored and you can turn it to the other way and you can have a different color which is I thought that is quite creative uh, and no one has actually done it like this before so I have to say this is really interesting features that they have and these are actual metal stick by the way they are in die cast they're not plastic piece by the way and that's kind of solid but i'm sure that if you put force it it will snap and um, but the metal here that looks really realistic carbon fiber all around and everything looks really realistic carbon fiber and the headlights are really cool and uh, again all the bumpers all the air intakes they are all carbon fiber all the mesh are also see-through as you can see here they are not sealed like in Buago or Maestro this is really nice and so is the back this is very heavy model by the way and the neat then you can't actually see much and all you can see is a LCD logo in here uh, the middle part is plastic obviously but on the side and you can see there are two different texture in terms of color so carbon fiber all around they're very shiny there's no paint defects or anything whatsoever uh, at the back also nicely laid out so yeah and the lights are also very good so this is amazing model uh, I'm happy to give this one 10 out of 10 uh, I don't see anything negative in this model uh, if I weigh this up I'm pretty sure this is gonna be at least 1.1 uh, 1 .1 kilo I would say let's turn on the uh, scales uh, sorry for shaking the camera let's measure this up oh right I was close is one kilo at least so yes there you go so anyway thanks for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you in the next video